years, it's out the way. I learned so many lessons along the way, man. I'm just grateful. It's conscious. Yeah, so Hello everyone and welcome to Love I Am. I am here at Flawless Boxing in Sacramento, California and I'm sitting with the owner Brandon Gonzalez and he is here to talk to us about how we can have our boxing skills as flawless as ever. Brother Brandon, thank you so much for joining me, brother. Hey man, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Glad you're here. <laughs> Man, I'm so excited to be here, man. This is the most beautiful boxing gym I have ever seen, man. Yeah. It is clean, it is kept. I mean, just looking at the boxing ring, it is phenomenal. Your bags, you have top of the line pro equipment in here. Yeah. But first, brother, I was looking at your record in boxing as a professional fighter. Yeah. You have an 18 one and one record? Great, yeah. Phenomenal record. Thank you. Let's start with first, your love for boxing. Where did it come from? What was it about it that said, I want to give this a shot and become a phenomenal pro that you were? Yeah, you know, uh, like you were saying earlier, uh, I'm a dreamer, right? So I was a casual boxing fan. Uh, you know, we did the Tyson fights and, you know, we did the gloves in the garage and the front yard and, <laughs> you know, the whole thing with the friends and stuff. But really, uh, I just had I had uh, dreams or visions of being a fighter. You mm. know what I mean? And um, after I started having it on multiple occasions, uh, that's what I knew I felt like I needed to do was get myself inside of a boxing gym and that's what I did I went over to uh, Capital Boxing over there on Stockton Boulevard. Okay, and uh, that's where I started Absolutely, and, it's, and judging by all your experience you brought that so more and more people could experience it here Yeah from experiencing all of that. What was the reason why you started flawless boxing? What was your motivation? Well originally uh, towards the tail end of my career, you know, I knew I was gonna have to make that transition back into uh, I guess you call it normal life oh. uh, You know, so when I got to that point where I say okay, I'm about five years out or three years out We, I st we started making plans and one of the plans was uh, to host a uh, nonprofit mm. uh, for the youth Right. To where uh, that's where that's where they would we'd have a facility for them to come, right. uh, you know, free of charge to keep them off the streets and keep them uh, on the right path. So, so the uh, nonprofit is still going on. Now. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Wow. We just uh, we did uh, 100 meals and mask. We gave away 100 masks, 100 meals right here uh, for wow. us boxing. We still have kids. We service kids even right here in the uh, projects next door to us. Wow. Um, so we fin we're finished actually finishing up a six week camp. Uh, we did a partnership with uh, Mr. Roberts, the Robertson family. Center. Yeah, uh, yeah, so he's yeah. got kids coming over here right now. We're going into our sixth week. So we're constantly doing that, man. And, and that's really what the what the engine behind this uh, boat, this whole model that we have is uh, the community impact. And that's something that we're huge on and we continue to be even during uh, during the pandemic. You know, we're still uh, putting our feet to the pavement and, and coming up with ways to impact the community. And it shows more and more. So obviously, first time individuals who come into Flawless Boxing are not getting this old school style boxing yeah. experience. They're getting a community feel to help you in self-defense and to grow yeah, in a way. Absolutely. Again, we take it back to those intangibles, the, the confidence, the discipline, uh, you know, the work ethic that you have to have. It's not easy, right? right. If it was easy, there'd be thousands of people yes. coming in here. But it's very challenging, uh, but it's fun. It's very effective, too. And just like you said before, we're trying to connect boxing to the world exactly. that we live in. Exactly. We want you to bring the same yeah. things, which I experienced as an amateur boxer. Sure. You bring that toughness right. and that discipline right. to life. Right. And Flaws Box has been doing that for some time now. Yeah, yeah. And, and what kind of classes could they experience here? Early morning, late night, what kind of, we, during quarantine, what are they experiencing? Right, so right now, because of the situation that we're in, we are doing training outdoors, but we have our normal schedule. So we have a 6 a.m., uh, 7 a.m. morning, all the way to afternoon, uh -huh. 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. in the evening. Uh, but we also offer for the people that are, do not feel comfortable yet coming mm -hmm. to the gym because that's really what we focus on, especially during this time. It's not so much growing right now because right. of the situation. It's more about uh, doubling down on making our current members feel safe, feel safe and, uh, you know, comfortable coming to the right. gym. Absolutely. So that's really what we've been focusing on when we transition to the outdoors. We have a nice setup to where everybody is, uh, you know, um, properly distanced from right. each other, not sweating on each other. Um, so we don't want to have anybody having to worry about, uh, you know, getting sick. Right. When it comes to your training, you, you include a boxing kit yeah, so you get all your equipment. Like it's a one-stop shop. You come in here. 
um, we're going to, um, you know, you're not only going to get the membership, but you're also going to get about $125 worth of equipment uh, wow. that you need. It's everything you need yeah. for training. Boxing gloves, hand wraps, jump rope, uh, and a carrying bag. These are for adults and the youth that come in. They're given one of these when they sign up. What's your youngest? What's your what's your oldest? For yeah, so, I mean, it goes all the way up to, to, to you know, we got, I think our oldest member may be... I want to say in the 70s maybe right okay. now. Okay. Uh, but yeah, there's no there's no there's no age limit. When you talk about the kids, we're we're you know, we're about 8 years old is what okay. I say. Um, just because the attention span, we're doing stuff outside. So, you know, I don't want the parents to feel uncomfortable when right. we bring up, you know, 5 or 4 year old. I don't want them running around the park. So, yeah, so 8 years old for the youth. Uh, and then you know up to up to as high as that you want to take it. So, like you said, it's never too late, you know. And, um, yeah, and all that you're doing in community the way you're helping children, the way you're helping adults, all these different things that are happening. Yeah. Obviously, you're creating something with Falls Boxing that is not being seen from other boxing gyms. Sure. In terms of legacy, in yeah. terms of, you're building something here. Yeah, absolutely. And, 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 and for all who are watching, what does Flawless Boxing want to leave uh, rather they're here for six weeks or six months? Yeah, well, we want to we wanna have impact that is very short term, long term, um, lasting and and that's what it's about it's about impacting your community right um, you know those that you affect you know when I talk about the youth mm -hmm. I talk about just keeping them on the straight path and you know I, I had a, um, a meeting with the uh, lieutenant Houston when we were having talking about doing a partnership for the pal and he he had quoted he said you know it doesn't matter if the kid can punch his way out of wet paper bag right <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and and that kind of made sense to me right. like the real the you know it's realistic that you know, you're probably, you're not going to, Sugar Ray Leonard's not walking through your door yeah. anytime soon, <laughs> yeah, right? So, yeah, yeah. And that's just the reality of it, yeah. but you can still help them, right? You can still guide them, you can still mentor them to where the things that they learn at this gym, they're able to take into school, into their professional yeah. life, and still excel, because I'm living proof of that, right? That's what I do. It's like, I, I, I understand what it takes to be a, a world-class athlete. I did it at an amateur and professional level, and I took all of those lessons that I learned from that training mm -hmm. and just applied it to my business, right? right. So that was kind of my school, and I kind of take that with everything in life, um, those intangibles that boxing taught me. So. Right. And Brother Brandon, the thing I love to do is give the individuals an awesome opportunity to tell the viewers one special thing or something that's close to your heart that'll yeah. motivate them on their journey as they continue to uh, live like, their dream. It, you can't put into words the type of sacrifice and the work that you have to, that takes to be successful now. Um, so, and that's what I tell them. So the work ethic definitely has to be there. I'd also say trust your instincts. Trust your instincts. Because, uh, you know, you're not going to let yourself down, you know, when you, when you right. go that route. And everything you need is right in front of you. So and when I say that, I'm talking about like resources or networking. You, 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 even if you have a small group of friends, you know somebody that does something that you need done. So don't be afraid to not only increase your network, but to reach out to people and ask for help or find a way to exchange services that you can provide to enhance their situation right. and they can enhance yours. So that's what I would say to somebody doing, but you gotta have that drive and you gotta have that work ethic and you know you gotta have that passion. So I would leave it at those things. <laughs> well, you, uh, you heard it here first, Brandon Gonzalez, boxing coach, boxing owner. The man is doing phenomenal things here at Flawless Boxing. This community stable is so important to us and we are so happy to be sitting with you, Brother Brandon. Thank man, you so thank much. You, thank you for having me. Oh, it was incredible, man. Thank, thank you. you. And to all those who are watching, thank you so much for watching Love I Am. We are so excited to see you again. And always remember, stay blessed and stay beautiful. We'll see you next time. See, I ain't judging you, man. We all gotta find a lane. There are ways to maintain. If I can help you get a job, would you still wanna slay? Hit licks with the homies on the block trying to hang. Look, I got an alternative route, but you gotta make a choice right now. And come and holla at me. I got an alternative route, but you gotta make a choice right now. And come and holla at me. I got an alternative route, but you gotta make a choice right now.